So we now get faced with two fire crabs. But fortunately, because they're on such small platforms, we can easily knock them into a pool of slime. Now it's just a series of platforming with rather small platforms, so it can be easy to overshoot your jump. But once we get out from here, why I do believe that's the bicorn horn. First things first, get those beans anyway, just to spice snake. And now to um, borrow this bicorn horn. Okay, so... Yeah, sorry I haven't made one of these in a while, but, you know, I've not really had much time for video making and all that. So... I might as well get Wigan Tree Bark as well. Now let's make some more potions while we're here. I'll give you a little bit of a heads up. I have got an idea for another video game review. I've already like written the script and done the recording and that, but all that's left is to try and get the footage and then assemble it. So, you know, I'll give you a heads up on that. Potions classroom. But there is going to be a new video game review coming, but I just don't know when. Another silver wizard card. Hi, hmm, what's she would you have? consider a trade? What do you have? I have wigan tree bark, still moist with dew. Uh, uh, might as well get some. Always glad to sell to you, Harry. Uh, is this other guy selling flobberworm mucus, I assume. Hi, Harry, want a trade? What do you have? Yep. I have flobberworm mucus. Yeah, might as well get some of that. No one in Slytherin but has you're one. You're in Slytherin. Be so jealous. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Now, once we leave the dungeons, we meet Hermione. Hi, Harry. Hi. I found some bicorn horn to add to the potion. Great. I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. They're starting a dueling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall okay, to Okay, so, learn how to duel. remember the dueling club from the movie? Oh, there's Snape. Yes, you'd better get off to your dueling club, Mr. Potter. Now, the first dueling club you have to go to, but then it, like the Quidditch, it sort of becomes a side task. Now, you look into the Great Hall and you just see the tables laid out like normal. Then, magically, it turned into this arena. Can you all hear me? Excellent. I started dueling club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. Yeah, Gildory Lockhart tells you how dueling the works. The exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in dueling. Brick to Sempra, which knocks... Said Tickling Charm, which is actually quite devastating. Mimble Wimble. Mimble Wimble's useless, so just ignore it. opponent from accurately casting their next spell... Which basically which turns it into a game of tennis. Back onto your opponent to select a spell. Scroll through them by using the space bar or the right mouse button. button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, press the left mouse button. You may build up the strength of Richter Semper and Mimble Wimble by holding the left mouse button down. Note that potion drinking and jumping during duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie Bot's every flavoured beans is required to do beans. The victor wins the opponent's beans. To challenge a student to a duel, simply walk. Well, I think I've got the rules down. If you have enough beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape. I am your colleague, not your assistant. <laughs> has informed me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling. 
and has graciously agreed to monitor the duels. And now for a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley... I don't think so. Time to split up. Yeah, for once, team. I think I'm actually with Snape here because I'd find it much more satisfying to kick the shit out of Malfoy than I would Ron. Thrashing, you will be a treat, Potter. Too bad I won't give you the satisfaction. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three. Scared, Potter. You wish. One, <coughs> two, three. Okay, so you hold down the mass button to build up the strength of Richter Semperance. Because he has hooked half his health. But he can knock it back with expelling armor. <laughs> well, that was pathetic. I'll do more dueling in later videos and explain more about it then. But for now, hey yo, I'm Harry. Serpent Sortier! So Malfoy knows how to conjure snakes. And no one's the slightest bit suspicious about that dark magic. What was that? Did Harry just hiss? That couldn't have been. I mean, where would Malfoy <laughs> learn such a spell like that? Not him. I mean, were the teachers not the slightest bit suspicious? I always found that a bit odd. But anyway, Harry hissed, so <gasps> he could be the heir of Slytherin. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Oh no! Exactly! Now the whole school's going to think you're his great 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 grandson or something. But I'm not! Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. Never mind us calling you Salazar Slytherin's heir. Harry lay awake for hours that night, wondering. Could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? I won't be seeing you in Herbology class. I'll be in Moaning Myrtle's bathroom working on the polygraph. Ah, class. now here's a first. Hermione bunking off class. Skipping class. Well, we better get outside to Herbology, Harry. Come on. Okay, so next up is Herbology lesson. So. Because we're good students, we're going to attend the lesson. If Hermione loses points from Gryffindor, well that's her own darn problem. Okay, so through the grounds we go to the greenhouse. This time we don't have to go for any deadly gardens which could potentially kill students. Nah, we're just taking this nice route. Okay, so it's a greenhouse. Very different from the last one. Welcome to second year herbology, everyone. And for those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? Yeah, get used Today, to some of these garden related puns that Sprout charm. makes. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Taking a leap well, I've got to compensate for her absence. This class needs a new teacher's pet. Now, Mr. Potter, please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move its way around the shape. So this one's pretty the straightforward. Directly over the arrow. Press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. In each part... You must be accurate in order to progress. Ready to try? Round one, Not one. Go. Go. So yeah, you know the drill by now. Hit the arrow keys as soon as the one goes over them. Well done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Yeah, you know, I always thought Hermione was the brightest student in the year. Yeah, I'm the one getting all the house points. 
is what she's doing good, not house point worthy that, enough? Harry, you've moved on to the next yeah. level. Yeah. Ten points to Gryffindor. I'm definitely thinking too deep right. into this. Go. Okay. Quite bunched together these ones are. But I've done it. Well done. You've completed all of the exercises in top form. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You have learnt Divindo, Harry. We've planted I wonder why she's making all these puns. I mean, she never did in now the movies or any of the other games. It just sort of was introduced in this one. And never in the other ones. Bit random, but eh, whatever. Welcome, Harry Potter, to my Defindo so How's this for a cock tease? Complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. You can see the completion star up here. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero, we'll Now, with the debug mode, there will be a way to fly up there and get the completion star straight away, but. As I said before, because challenge stars like boost your score massively. It wouldn't be practical to just straight away zip to the completion star. We want to get more house points. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Some vines and plant growth can cover doorways and openings. So here's what Jafindo does. It's basically a severing charm. If there's vines blocking the way, you just chop them up. Now, I definitely won't be able to show you all of this challenge in one video, so... I'm not sure if I'll even be able to show you in two. It's quite a long one. Oh, only two beans. Now, I will say... It's a challenge. After I get this chest. One of the enemies that's definitely gotten more aggressive in this challenge are the orange snails. Uh, you'll see what I mean. Yeah. Uh, oh. yeah. He was already on the warpath. These ain't no slow snails. So yeah, you have to get two orange snails on one of them pads. But firstly, I think it's secret time. We all love those, don't we? Flipendo! Flipendo! This one took a bit of fiddling about, Flipendo! but... Flipendo! We cast on all four of them. Flipendo! You open our secret door. Yeah, gotta stun those snails for good measure. Oh, and I've got our first key. So we're a quarter of the way to getting all the Silver Wizard cards. Might make a good head trimmer. And now the doorway's open. Now, Harry wants to play a bit of cut the rope. Hawk lump mushrooms can give off a cloud of poisonous gas, Harry. Avoid them, or use Defindo to cut And he told me to avoid them. Now watch this. If you cast Defindo on that, you open up a gnome hole. And with any gnome hole, Comes a gnome. There's gotta be a gnome there somewhere. Okay. Ah, there he is. Now watch this. <laughs> Bit aimless though, this gnome is. Guess he's just that excited, he doesn't know where to start. But, it's not a method I recommend for speedrunners, but if you want beans, let the gnome do all the hard work. 